My hands are full. My hands are full. Hold that. Are you already filming? Yeah, what are we doing today? Are we gonna wear a mask at Danner's shop for this f I'm cutting that. Why? Because I don't get political. Uh, that wasn't political, that was just reality. No, that's political. Do you think you're changing the opinions of the keyboard warriors? No, sadly. Yeah. So, what are we doing today? Uh, today we are doing something real quick because uh, this wasn't on our agenda today and so we're maybe using different uh, a different mic and you know, it might sound a little bit different, but you guys can hear Caleb better with this camera mic. But anyway, um, we're just running to my brother's shop. He did a radio swap for a customer on a 2000 Pontiac something, and uh, it has a radio theft code, and I just called my friend Matthew Scundrich, and he said that uh, on some of these cars, we can do it with the Autel. And if we can't do the radio program with the Autel, then we have to use SPS which is the factory programming method for GM. If it goes to that, we're not gonna do the um, SPS programming today. We'll have to do that another day because we don't have much time. So really, we're just running to my brother's shop real quick and uh, we're gonna see if the Autel can program a radio code, a theft code in the radio um, on this car. Something else too, while we're on our way to my brother's shop, my inspection is up on this Navigator. In fact, it is, um, ex I, I'm almost not a year, let's see, 11 of 19 is when it expired, and it is 6 of 20 right now. <laughs> so, what's that, 7 months expired? I've <laughs> had my wife driving around in a car that's 7 months expired um, on inspection. Now, to be clear, um, I was underneath this um, as recently as uh, February, uh, with all new brakes and rotors and tires and the suspension's all good, so we're not unsafe. I'm just really not legal, and I'm gonna have my brother uh, inspect this while we're there. there. So we'll get copyright strikes, so we'll turn that down. So let's talk about Caleb's man bun for a second. Basically um, what happened was before the pandemic, I didn't wanna pay for a haircut, because it's like $23, and that's ridiculous. So I waited like a couple extra weeks, and my hair wasn't long. And then the pandemic happened. Pandemic happened. They closed down all the barber shops. Um, so I'm just stuck with this. Yeah. This is, this is, this I told is Caleb I he's got to grow his hair out like when he was 12. So yeah. yeah, here's a nice little picture of Caleb when he's 12, jamming at the Hard Rock. Yeah. This is the hair that he needs to have back. So we're we're working on that. Well, I might have to. In the interim, he's got a man choice. bun, and you know a lot of people think that man buns. In, in my generation, oh. we we think that. Man buns are um, uh, the memes that go around with man buns. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my fiance likes it, so. Oh, it's all about the women. All right, let's go see Danner. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. That's like May's finger. Oh. <laughs> my daughter broke her finger in this door. Oh, real quick. Super Saturday. No, oh. right here. Sure. <laughs> it's going down there. No. Super Saturday. Um, just props to these guys. I'm wearing the shirt today. Representing. I thought there was going to be more to it. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't know when the next event is because, you know, everything's shut down still. So, But I think... Well, I think check it was, this out. I'm wearing a cool shirt. I think it was September, maybe? I don't know. We, we on the way here Caleb's talking about getting some different mics and stuff okay and we're gonna order two so anytime we're here we're gonna mic you up just, uh, just so we have the background commentary so you that, can get like uh, you singing <laughs> you singing you know maybe taking a leak or something too you know like on uh, the naked gun when he left his mic on and, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm bringing Danner his smoke machine back oh yeah. my smoke machine but, did that other purge valve work for you I didn't, I didn't get it yet oh dude well, they I don't just, know about that. There's this. We have this oh, crazy video. Yeah, we can't talk too much about well, it. Well, all I know, <laughs> you could put this clip in there. <laughs> I. Let's see if we can program this radio. Oh, 
Um, my inspection is seven months expired. Remember when I did the last SPS programming for you? You said you'd inspect it for me. Oh, <laughs> like no charge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not doing anything till the end of June anyway, because all this COVID. They're not pulling True. anyone ever. So all right. You have a whole month. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll try to make it a whole year then. <laughs> is yes. it this? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. When you're ready, we're gonna get a shot of this um, screen right here that shows locked. Wait, <laughs> do it again. When you're ready, we're gonna get a shot of this screen right okay, here that good. says locked. Should I get my finger out of there? Yep. Is that your middle finger? <laughs> I have to blur it now. <laughs> do you have anything to say about it? Or am I just... It's locked. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can unlock it. Let me start this recorder. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Action. Let's see. Nope. Welcome to the Church of Suicidal. Why is it the only thing you quote ever? Well, when you say three, two, one, action, that's what makes me remember that song. I don't say that. You say that. And those TV evangelists that lie to people, you know? Can you um, just take your money? Send me your money? What's the name of that song? Send me your money. Send me your money. Well, that down there that's send, way better send me your money clearly the radio is locked i don't know if we go to programmer or diagnostics or service i'm not sure let's enter the the vehicle first and we'll see what happens what is this this is a gm i doubt this will have automatic selection let's read the vin hey it read it Hungry. with air pump or without air pump we have to go look Remember, I don't have a mic, so I got I need you to be closer to me. Like that? No, not that close. <laughs> okay. Um, a telltale sign for whether or not this has an air pump is just look at the exhaust manifold. When you see plumbing like this right here, this is a diverter valve part of the air pump system. The answer is yes, this has an air pump. All right, so with air pump, yes, hot functions. Let's see what we can do here. What's TEC learn? What's TEC? Let's see. Oh, crankshaft position. Uh, let's go back to the home screen and go to service, maybe? Odometer. Change tires. AF setting. Cylinder airbag. Trans adaption. <sighs> Not all of these will apply. I'm not seeing what we need here. Radio, special function, set options, radio setup. Ha <laughs> nice. ha, Autel for the win, it looks like. Maybe, I don't know which one I do. Uh, radio setup. During the following test, a new or an existing radio will be set up. Heck yeah. Okay, so it's asking me, is the vehicle equipped with an up level radio yes or no and so an up level radio in my opinion would be when it automatically adjusts the volume based on speed um <clears throat> the s c v could be speed control volume i'm gonna say yes with this i'm not sure that that button means that to be honest with you but you know what's the worst that happens we just got to do it over maybe right so let's say yes is a vehicle equipped with regular production option RPO UL2 uh, export radio? Dude, how the hell am I going to know that? We need Danner in here. Um, see, I don't know what the RPO code of this radio would be. We could look up the RPO. RPO? What is that? RPO code is, uh, I forget what RPO stands for. Let me see if this has the sticker and we can talk about it. RPO codes on this. It's like um, certain um, options and, and stuff that's built into the car. I have no idea. I'm going to say yes. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, then just go back and say no. Device unable to communicate with control unit. It flashed like the screen flashed. But on the radio? It, yeah. Did it, it? Went back to sand locked. Let's go back. Radio set up. Let's try it again. Yes, no. It's asking me for another weird RPO code. 
I need to find the RPO codes on this. I'm going to say yes to this one and see what happens. Hey! Hey! It said yeah. calibrate then lock. Yep. Well, I definitely can talk to it. I'm going to say no to that too. There's some GM guys that are watching us right now and they're shaking their head. No on that one. No on that one. Test completed successfully. And do we have... Calibrate. Does he not have everything plugged in right now? Well, I did see some, like, cable sticking out of the radio right there. Well, I mean, it's definitely... It's definitely working now. That's awesome. Just hold... Uh, hold tight. Let me grab Dan a rope. I'm waiting on him. I guess I could have just checked myself, huh? There's your radio antenna. Definitely There's don't want the radio playing because that'll I'll get copyright strike for a radio playing. It's dumb. Uh -oh. Um, we're good. I don't want to turn it up because I'll get copyright strike for the stupid uh, uh, radio playing. We'll just do a real quick one, right? Okay. What song was that? Don't oh, know. I do. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> okay, so um, we just went through um, a, a procedure where there was options where it was asking me for RPO codes. Do you know where the RPO codes are on this thing? Where the sticker is? Glove box, maybe? I checked the glove box. I didn't see it. Slut under... <laughs> I only, spare tire I'm thing. only asking because Caleb doesn't know what RPO codes are and it'd be nice to show him and the other people watching. I didn't know what they were, so I was just hitting yes and no each time. It like failed on the first one, uh, okay. and then it failed on the second one. Uh, well, I, w I could have told you that because when I looked it up under the junkyard, it said option U something, whatever. Let's... Well, I don't think I'll mess it up. Let's try it again. Does the following test a new or existing radio will be set up are you looking for the RPO codes? All right, we're gonna wait for a second. See if we can get you guys to see. It was a U something, wasn't it? But we don't know what what this came out of. Oh. So it's asking. It came out of an Aztec. I yeah, think. but we would need the RPO code of oh. of that car, right? Because no, the RPO code was still be the same. An option code that the car had. Oh, there is no spare. I have no idea where it's hiding on this thing. Let me look in the glove box again. Nope. Nope. Yeah, what's I, what's RPO stand for? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't see. I don't see a spare tire well. Okay, anymore. but when you you ordered this, you specifically gave them well, a, an RPO code. Well, it, it gives you all that stuff on the car part, like the junkyard site. Oh, okay. And because that had the tape and the CD. Yes. There was only one, but I can give you the code if you want it. Yeah, please. Assembled in Mexico. What's it telling me to calibrate? I wonder. Maybe watch when I first turn it on. Maybe it's a compass. U1Q. U1Q? <laughs> Sounds like I just insulted you. <laughs> U1Q. U1Q. <laughs> okay, so in the setup, um, it was just in here. Look, um, I didn't set options yet, but well, two things. One, when I first turn it on, it says calibrate. So I don't know if that's like a compass or something, maybe. Or so radio or. setup is what I did. Um, and then hit OK. And then it asks me, the first one, is it equi equipped with an auto up level? And I assume the SVC, that's speed control, speed control volume. Yeah. So I said yes. Okay. And then it asked me um, RPO code UL2. I had to do no for that yeah. one. You said, what did you say it was? Uh, U U1Q. U1Q. <laughs> <laughs> So no on that, and then I did no on this one too. Okay. I did yes the next time and it failed. Okay. And and so no on that one. And then yeah, and then it just came to life when we were when we were done. That oh, was so it. You, that was the okay, procedure. So it was it's, the only two. it's unlocked. So So try this now. If you unplug it and plug it back in, will it work? Okay, well, hold on one sec. Before I, I before I do that, I want to see what my set options are. Oh, chime level and and then loud chime volume. So I guess that's with the door open. I can change I don't Is that know. why it said calibrate? Select option with arrow keys. Ignition should be on. Normal default. We'll just go with that. Yep. Loud chime volume. I'm not messing with any of that stuff. Okay. So you want to know 
Well, I got to get the quarter out of there. So we have to unplug this radio. Yeah. So let's see when we unplug it, if it stays. Um, if it still recognizes the car. Or not. Correct. So get a shot down here. Where here, unplug that thing, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't want that shorting out whatever's in there. I know, I, I tried, I tried that, but it just feels like it's in a different spot. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Now you did it. I didn't do it. You told me to do it. You gotta make it at least make it loose. Again oh, there you so go. You can plug it in. Okay. It's loose. All right. Plug it in. And see if it works. It's okay. gonna smoke. Watch It'll it. Go. Keep, fo <laughs> keep focused on this radio, Caleb, because it might it might show us something. It was only thirty five bucks. So. All right. So turn the key on. Ah, cool. Cool. So I can take it apart. All major manufacturers. Yeah. Okay. We're good. And then it still has, oh, it no longer has calibrate when I first turn it on. Maybe it's because that quarter it. was stuck in the magnet. How weird is that? I'm not sure what we were calibrating, but I'll tell for the win. That's the point with this. Um, you obviously tried with your snap on scan well, tool. I couldn't even talk to the radio. Uh, no radio option. On. And, um, they have. Uh, I'm pretty sure U1 Q is what they call it in China, the auto. The auto. Yeah, it's, it's the, the U1, U1 Q. Q. That's why you didn't even have Listen, to. Listen, I was that just going to say said... that because of the Chinese hacking, we have been able to um, put a radio in <laughs> on this Pontiac 2000 model year um, van, and I've been able to program it. So I mean, there are some perks to the. Uh, um, so what you're saying is you don't think they paid for that info? I don't know. In, <laughs> in fact, they were sued. Listen, um, the the market was sued initially, um, but they have since paid their due. So I believe that this is not a hacked version any longer. They had to pay, Auto had to pay out the wazoo to get uh, um, licensing, licensing for, everything. for everything. Yeah. And they used okay. to have like all the icons for all the vehicles and that's gone too because that was all copyright stuff oh, but it's just the symbols of yeah just even oh, the wow. symbols yeah so but uh i think they're on the up and up now and uh yes uh that is definitely a win for the autel so um i'm happy danner's happy I'm customers happy, happy. Yeah. 35 dollar radio i don't know until he looks at the buttons you should see how nice his other one looks. really yeah oh. <laughs> that's the only one i could find though you know i mean where are you gonna find a radio for a 2000 yeah they're all kind of kind of worn out yeah right. sweet man that Thanks for cool. the quick video, Danner. Yeah, well, sneeze. more videos for <laughs> us. <laughs> Holy Watch your, Wash your hands. <laughs> Special thanks to Danner for this quick one. Special thanks to cameraman Caleb behind the scenes. And uh, if you guys are interested oh, dude, that in this, Green Man one was great. You man. like the Green I Man did video? Like the Green Man. <laughs> that was Caleb. Caleb had like 20 hours of oh, the edits I believe on it. that. Yeah, that was great. You had the spooky music <laughs> and all the like stuff in the back. I got electrocuted on my finger. That was here at your shop. That scene where oh, that's what that, that was from here. That was from I, the, I did see that. Yeah, that's great. That yeah. was. That was, the editing was way better than the content of the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have one guy that said to me, he was like, uh, you know, he, he really likes my channel and he, he really like gave us a thumbs down because it was like, it was distracting and you know, I'm here to learn and I'm like, and, and what, yeah, but in his defense, video in, like that is great for sure. Have, in, in his defense though, uh, or, or to defend myself to his comment, that was one where it was really a useless video, in yeah. my opinion. I had yeah. an unplugged intake air temp sensor and then I couldn't recreate anything. Yeah. And so it, it was just something to make something fun out of it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you know? I, I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, special thanks again to my brother for letting us do this here and for cameraman Caleb behind the scenes who's changing the game for Scanner Danner. And special thanks to you guys for helping me p make this possible. If you're interested in the Autel, go visit my friends at aeswave.com. They carry it there. And all of my tool revenue, again, that when I suggest a tool through AES, if you go through my links, I get a little bit of affiliate kickback. That's the word I'm looking for. And, you know, that's great. But I want you guys to know that I am recirculating that back into AES Wave. For those in need to purchase equipment, and AES Wave is offering a uh, matched contribution. So if I offer someone $50, for example, AES makes it $100 that you can shop at their site 
Uh, and that's what I'm doing with this affiliate revenue. So yes, I'm plugging the tool and a lot of the uh, YouTubers out there, yes, it puts money in their pockets when they do that. I want you guys to know I am not doing that with AES revenue. It goes right back to them, right back to you guys. So thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon.